Hey everybody, so today I want to talk a little bit about um, common objections that I actually hear from people that want to share oils and that want to build. And I feel like I can speak into some of these things because I've been there. Um, so know that in my sharing and in what I'm going to say, um, I come at it with an attitude of I really do get it and I really have been there. So hopefully I'm able to offer some insight to help you move through your objections a little bit more quickly than uh, maybe I moved myself. Hey Nikki. So one of the things that I hear um, often is um, I just don't have the money um, and I feel like this really boils down to the 100 PV LRP order. So I just wanna uh, back into this and I wanna break this down because I think by the end of these couple minutes together. Hopefully this will shed light on, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, so, I know I talk a little bit about this in the doTERRA business overview that I uh, do and you can catch the recording. Um, but I do, I just have to compare to other companies really quickly on this. I mean, literally you could start a doTERRA business, which is an incredible business and incredibly uh, it's a great opportunity. That's what I want to say. Um, for only, like literally buy your own oils at $100 a month, which we're going to talk about. Um, and it's true that other companies like this, um, you know, you might spend $500 up front. They pick the products for you. Um, you have to do all the customer service. You have to keep all the clothing in your house. Um, the upfront investment is way more significant than um, what it is with doTERRA. And so I wanted to say that at first about the upfront investment. And then I wanted to, I just really have to dig into this 100 PV loyalty rewards program order, guys. Okay, I remember when my mom first asked me what we could spend on doTERRA oils each month, I was like, probably $15, maybe. <laughs> okay, you can ask her, true story. I remember we were sitting over in our kitchen table in our married housing apartment in Minneapolis. I remember it very clearly, and here we are now. So how does that all happen? So the average, I crunched some numbers. The average American household spends $42 a month on cleaning supplies, okay? The average American household spends $50 a month on personal care products. And then I'm not even gonna bother trying to crunch a number on how much families spend on healthcare because that's a multifaceted issue. But still, healthcare costs, right? Okay, so 42, 50 plus more. So my point is this, you are already spending the money. It is not an added expense. It is not. It is a replacement of what you're already spending. You're already buying personal care products from Target and not getting 30% back, so might as well. Get better products and added bonuses, okay? You're not getting any money back for any medications or prescriptions you're buying. So might as well do the lifelong vitality and feel better and get your money back. Get your 30% back, okay? Um, I literally order our vitamins each month and then I wait till the 15th and I have, um, I order all our oils for free with my rewards points, okay? Um, cleaning supplies. Nobody is paying you any perks for getting your cleaning supplies elsewhere. Get your cleaning supplies from doTERRA. Get your hand soap from doTERRA. It doesn't have triclosan. It's good for you. Buy it through them. Okay, so it is not an extra expense. Nobody, if you ask me, do I have $100 extra in my budget? No. Do I have $100 that I'm already spending that I could shift? Absolutely. I'm supporting Coempic sourcing and healing hands and amazing things. And I'm also helping other people get their oils. Okay? So when you think 100 PV LRP, just think of what you're already spending and shift it over. And that will mentally free you up to go help other people. Right? Hey, everybody. Apparently, Thursday at a 2 o'clock is like my time. Um, so that's what I want to say. For those of you who feel overwhelmed by that and feel like I just don't have the money to do this, I really want to lovingly challenge you because I've been there and say you can't afford not to invest in this. 68% retention rate. We've got all the infrastructure in place to care for you. We will love you well. We will support you well. We will teach you how to care for your people and to help share oils effectively. You really can't afford to not be like, okay. Yeah, I'm going to shift the money I'm already spending over into an LRP, get amazing perks, 
and feel better all around and be able to help other people and get a commission check from it. Okay, so that's just kind of what I want to talk about. And I, I know I'm just going to say it one more time. I realize that talking about this is probably a delicate topic and it might like elicit some response for some people. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to hash this out further. But again, I say this lovingly, but you really, you, there's no reason based on what we spend typically monthly on personal care products, cleaning products, healthcare, to not be able to shift that money over and make an incredible difference, an incredible difference, okay? All right, so today we talked about money. Tomorrow we're gonna talk about time, I think. And then everybody gets their Memorial Day weekend. Okay, so if you have questions or further comments on that, go ahead and shoot. I'm picturing some heinous comments below. No, I'm just kidding. Um, actually, since we have some people on, I'm gonna stay on for a minute and see if anybody has any questions. And it doesn't have to be related to what we just talked about. Um, it can, but it doesn't have to be. Um, I just really wish that I would have understood sooner the value of what I was l being offered. Yeah, I say, you're right. Amber says, I save money with oils. I save so much money with oils. So much money with oils. Do you know how much a doctor's appointment costs? Do you know how much it go takes to go in and to have them try to identify what's wrong with you? <sighs> mm -mm. Not so much. Again, I'm sorry, I don't mean that negatively, but I'd rather use my oils. I'd rather use them. Um, and I can, you know, four years into this, say that we're all absolutely healthier. Um, Amy says, so you do two orders per month, vitamins first, wait for your points, and then oils later in the month. Yeah, so that's what I started to do, Amy. I am still, and I try to do this as strategically as possible. So basically, I don't pay for a single oil ever. Um, Gary and I are both on the Lifelong Vitality, and I wouldn't change anything about that. Um, I love, love, love the women's products, and then when the 15th rolls around and my points dump in, then I get the oils that we need. Um, so that is how I do it. You don't have to do that way, but I we are literally getting our oils for free with our points. Yeah, Hannah, doctor's appointments are so expensive. They're expensive on my mental clarity and brain space. They're expensive on my heart sometimes. Um, so this is your health care. And I did also talk about this in the launch training that if you're, uh, maybe you're a person, maybe you're like single and living the life and you spend 50 cents on cleaning products a month and $2 on personal care products, then that's okay. Then order six intro kits, book your appointments, sell them and make a profit. Um, so if you want to just, you know, get what you need to get and then, um, Amy, that's great. I want to talk to, I'm going to say something about that in a minute. Um, you know, get what you need for yourself and then leftover add in intro kits and sell them. Just sell them. Just have your appointments and sell them. Um, you'll probably sell kits anyway and it won't matter, but it's good to have them. So Amy says, I wish we could use HSA for vitamins. Yeah, so my husband has looked into this a ton and that is in um, doTERRA's long-term plan. So we've talked about like disrupting the healthcare system in a good way, in a positive way. It could all use a little disruption. And part of that would be... Um, that we probably could use HSA or have insurance coverage or be prescribed for things like this so that it, um, we could use things like that. I hear you, Amy. Um, Lindsay wants to know when the next launch training is. That's a great question. I don't have a date yet. Um, we've got our team call set for May, June, June. Next month is June. Um, but if you guys have any feedback, if you have people, Lindsay, you have people that want to be a part of a launch training, if you guys would like to be part of one yourself or have people that want to be a part, then let me know when we can do one live. I have had a lot of people using the recording for now, but I'm totally open to doing it. I've got it down to an hour. <laughs> so it could even be done on a weeknight. So yeah, I'm, I'm available to do that for you guys in the evening. Um, okay. I think that's probably about it. I will, this is like long, a long video for me guys. This is like really stretching it. So I'm gonna go and take care of some stuff before Whitney gets up, but um, we will talk tomorrow. So today was about money, okay? The money objection. Tomorrow we're talking about the second objection I hear the most, which I'm pretty excited to talk about. Okay, hope we're all still friends. Bye guys.